Alrighty, hello everyone and welcome back to yet another episode on this wonderful little world we made. Um, so yeah, in the last episode we started working on our little humble abode we got here, as you can see. Um, and we also did some other stuff, we made our new mine. So if we go over here, you can see, with a nice little good old stairway all the way down to Y equals 12. So that we can mine for diamonds uh, at any point we want to. Um, we made a little area for our trees. And we made a small beginning of a farm, as you can see right here. Um, so yeah, that's the main things we did in the last episode. And um, I went and did some research and tested out some things. Um, off camera in between episodes on a creative testing world um, so last episode I ran into not actually knowing the recipe for books in this version of Minecraft and if we were to get paper and some leather um, as you might know in the you know all the versions of Minecraft um, the book recipe is just like this you know but it doesn't work so i was like okay why why doesn't it work and i tried some things uh, I, I looked it up and so apparently in this version of minecraft uh, a book is actually crafted just like this so we don't need any letter we just need paper um three in a row and then yeah there we go you can see just got myself a little book um and what i wanted to do at the start of this episode is actually make ourselves a nice little enchanting table with that book uh, because I did want to do that last episode, but yeah, I didn't know the recipe for the book. So um, let's just start this one off with a enchanting table. And there we go. All right. And you know what? For now, we'll just place it right here. There we go. And let's see what we can get. Um, okay. So apparently we cannot see right now what the enchantments will be. That's not in this version of Minecraft just yet. Um, and yeah, as you can see, uh, it seems to be going up this way instead of the other way around. Um, so we might just enchant our diamond pickaxe right away, or maybe not, but um, let's enchant our iron axe first so we can see what we can expect. So let's see, let's do the two left one, uh, and we got unbreaking two, so that's pretty, pretty good I would say. Um, okay, there is a level 5 enchant right there. I think we will try and get that on our diamond pickaxe today. Um, just because we will probably get another diamond pickaxe before we can get max level enchantments anyway. And I'm not planning to repair this one um, with diamonds every single time. And of course there's no mending yet. So um, yeah, I'm not, not too scared uh, on wasting some enchantments on a pickaxe or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, I also um, looked around and tried a couple of things um, in the creative testing world um, in order to figure out how I want to build this house uh, because last episode I ran into the problem that I just I'm just not used to um, the blocks this version of Minecraft uh, has to offer um, they're very limited um, and yeah I came to the conclusion um, that I wanted to try some things out just in the creative testing world, and so I did. Um, and I've come up with a, a sort of design that's very close to this, um, that would look good enough, I would say. And um, I want to try and make a start on that, uh, at least in this episode. Um, but for that we will probably need to gather quite a lot of items. Um, I want to see as well, um, I'm pretty sure... Okay, so this is not the way we get uh, correct stone bricks, or yeah, the one where it's broken down. Um, and I don't actually know how I would get it then. Um, I did think this was the way, but there might actually not even be a way in this version just yet. Uh, maybe it's only an item you can get in creative mode or from the stronghold. Um, but we'll have to wait and see, I guess. Um, but for now, I want to go and uh, gather a lot of more resources because uh, I'm gonna need a lot of wood for the new design I made. Um, and yeah, as you can see, I don't really have that as of right now just yet. Um, so let's start this episode out with cutting all our trees down. Uh, and then of course replanting them. And then we'll probably go and um, maybe make a little cow pen. So we can have um, limited food eventually. Um, and then we'll probably do some mining. Because of course we, we want some more diamonds, right? We definitely... Uh, Want to get diamond armor at some point and just have a lot of diamonds as a flex of course because yeah that's uh, a very big part of minecraft i would say uh, and also getting some more iron and coal and maybe some gold would also always be nice as well 
Um, so yeah, that, that are the kind of the plans for today. Uh, we'll probably not be able to finish uh, our house just yet this episode, but we'll try and make some progress on it. Um, so yeah, this is quite nice having an enchanting axe uh, now, because now it doesn't break as quickly of course. Uh, I would have liked some efficiency on it, but um, yeah, it's, it's fine. At least we got the uh, unbreaking too, which is actually not too bad. I expected for um, like having... Those two uh, levels I spent on it, I expected um, worse than F Unbreaking 2. So, I'm um, excited to see if we can get a quite nice enchantment on our Diamond Pickaxe as well. Something like Efficiency would really be uh, good. And otherwise I would also be quite happy with um, Unbreaking. Because of course that just means our Pickaxe will last longer. And yeah, then we keep our Diamonds for a little longer as well. Um, and maybe we can get some fortune. I'm, I'm not too certain about how the enchantments work in this version. So we're, I might not even be able to get um, fortune with such low enchantment tiers. But maybe I can. So yeah. we'll just hope for the best, right? Alright, there we go. We already got almost a stack of spruce locks, which is really nice. Because I'm gonna need a lot of those in the house. I do believe we already had a couple of spruce um, in our inventory, but still it's pretty good. And in the time we got these trees down, um, it seems like a couple over here have grown again. So that's really good as well. And the saplings are dropping, so this is quite nice. Uh, it's almost an, an, an infinite uh, wood farm at this point. Not fully yet, of course. But yeah, in the time you planted all the saplings back and gathered all the wood, a couple of trees will have grown already again, which is quite nice, of course. Because that means we can quite efficiently gather up a lot of um, a lot of wood quite fast uh, which of course is really nice because um, yeah one of the only good building blocks in this version is truly just wood um, and stone so yeah we're gonna need a lot of it um, there we go get the spruce as well Let's see i think it was two in between each of them yeah there we go there we go okay nice Let's see yeah um, and we got some more oak as well. There we go. Quite nice. We can actually start our third row, it looks like. Of oak trees. Which is absolutely amazing. Get even more oak blocks. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna only use oak logs to make planks. Um, since I'm not using them in building uh, that much anyway. And the spruce does grow a little slower um, than the oak. So yeah, we want to be careful with that. And if you didn't know, I didn't know either uh, until last episode. As you can see, if I use spruce, it will just turn into oak planks anyway. Because, you know, spruce planks are not in this version yet. Um, so yeah, that's quite interesting. Um, let's get us some wheat as well. Just because we needed to lure the cows. Now I've also found out that we cannot actually stand on the seats. Because that will also break them. Um, not even jumping uh, on them will break them, but like, yeah, just standing on them. I'm not sure, maybe shifting on them doesn't break them, but yeah, it's not worth trying out, I think. So we'll just be a little careful like this. There we go. Get up on the seats. We'll try it. Okay. It looks like shifting on them doesn't break it. Yeah, okay, that seems to be fine. So that's good. I will just shift my way through the farm then. Or maybe because they're hydrated, it doesn't break anymore. Let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, no, it still breaks. <laughs> it looks like it has a low chance of breaking, but it does still break. So uh, that's unfortunate. But it looked like shifting on them didn't break it. So we'll try that until, um, yeah, I guess eventually maybe one does break. And if it doesn't, then yeah, that's good enough, I guess. Um, also, the last episode, or the first episode, now has finally come out for me as well. So I have been able to look into the comments. And I've gotten one um, name suggestion in the comment section from Pixel Reset. Thank you very much, of course, um, for one of the docs. And the name suggestion was Bunk. Um, which is absolutely a great name suggestion. And I will name one of these docs Bunk. Um, let's see. Let's get one of them a yellow. Oh, okay. That doesn't seem to be a possibility yet, unfortunately. So we uh, cannot really track which dock is which until we have name tags. Which I do not believe we have yet. 
And even if we did, we don't have enough iron for anvils anyway. Um, but yeah, one of these darks is now named Bank. We will put them aside a little bit um, so that we know which one, of course. Let's see. Let's put you over here. And let's give him a little block right here. There we go. Um, mm, wait. Maybe I want him to stand on it. Can I get that? Come on. Okay, I don't think that's gonna be too easy. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Get on it. Doggy. Oh, okay, okay. He's too stubborn. Uh, it's really hard to get him under lock. I would have liked to get him under lock, but it doesn't seem like that's gonna be possible. Um, at least not fast. So let's just put him right here. Put the lock, lock next to him, and we will make ourselves a sign. There we go. Um, boom, 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 boom. And there is a sign. We only get one instead of three. Um, but that's absolutely fine because we only need one. There we go. We will name him oh, Bunk. There we go. All right. You are now named Bunk. And yeah, if you want to name the other dog, um, you can still leave a suggestion in the comment section. I haven't had a second suggestion. So yeah, if you want to get a little shout out and uh, be responsible for the second name of our uh, second dog, um, then yeah, make sure you comment a name down in the comment section. And if I like it enough, I will absolutely name that dog um, after it. Uh, so yeah, let's get ourselves some sugar cane. And we will be uh, responsible and plant it all back. We could, of course, um, make this all into sugar cane or uh, to paper and get ourselves a lot of books here. Because, yeah, um, apparently you only need free sugar cane in this version to, or free paper to make a single book, um, which is absolutely uh, ridiculously cheap. Um, but for now, I don't need to, too many books. I'm not gonna craft. All that many bookshelves yet because yeah i mean I, I don't have the levels for maximum enchantments anyway so who cares i guess um so we'll just be responsible and place them all back down so that we get even more sugar cane the next time we farm them um and yeah i think we will absolutely abuse the fact that we can now get it books for so cheap and make like a lot of books just um before we update to the version where the recipe uh, will be updated. Because yeah, we might as well, right? Uh, might as well use the fact that it's so cheap. And there we go. Let's get rid of the mushroom, I don't really need it. I gotta uh, chop down these trees just so the um, sugar cane can fully grow and it looks a little better. We will eventually, of course, make all of this a little more yeah, cleaner. But for now, this will do, I think. Um, and it doesn't look too too bad I would say so yeah there we go um, let's see it looks like a lot of trees have actually already regrown once again um, oh it took a little bit of damage there uh, let's see okay I think I might be a little bit too late um, for the items and unfortunately probably a couple of spruce saplings have despawned um, now which is unfortunate but uh, it's okay because we still planted quite a lot of them back uh, but yeah, let's chop down these trees as well again, just to get even more wood. It's always good to have a lot of wood. There we go. And then we can make ourselves a little cow pen. Um, because I do think it's really important to just have infinite amount of food um, at our hands uh, at any point we want. And also a little bit of XP from killing the, the cows would be nice. And maybe we even get XP from um, breeding them together. But I'm not certain if that's a uh, feature just yet. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, here we go. Place down the saplings we got again. Let's chop down this spruce tree as well. And we are starting to look quite good on the wood front. As you can see, we got over a stack of um, both uh, spruce and oak logs now. So that's a lot of wood. Um, and I do believe that will actually... Um, yeah, will be enough for quite a while. I will just chop down these new trees um, whilst uh, the saplings will drop. And then I am done with, uh, with chopping down trees for now. Seems like we got a little bigger tree. A little bigger than usual, but it wasn't too big. So I guess that's fine. There we go. Get this one as well. Get the saplings. Go and hmm, doesn't look like there's too many dropping. 
So I guess we'll, we'll farm some wheat in the meantime. Let's see, if I just keep on shifting, I uh, do need some seeds through this whole area, will none of them break? Does appear to be the case. That's quite nice. That's really quite nice, actually. Um, because, yeah, if I had to, you know, walk around all of them all the time, that would get quite annoying eventually. And I would probably have to design a new kind of farm um, where I can gather the items a lot easier. But, yeah, for now, this is uh, absolutely fine. There we go. 17 wheat. That will um, allow us to... Uh, yeah, breed quite a lot of cows. Let's see. Are there no saplings? Uh, I feel like the saplings from the spruce tree are kind of um, rare. More rare than the oak. But maybe it's just because the spruce tree uh, spawns in with less leaves than the oak does. Uh, um, but yeah, it's whatever. As long as I get at least one spruce sapling back from each tree I chop down, then I'm happy. Because then, yeah, of course. We have infinite amounts eventually, but I would like to get a little more than just one row because then they will grow quicker and the whole process will be a little easier. But yeah, for now it's what that is. Let's plant these back just like this, and let's see. Um, we do need to get a, a good spot for the cows because I don't want them too close to my house. Because yeah, as I said in the last two episodes and. As you might have already noticed in this one, the cows are incredibly loud in this version. Um, so I think we'll just make a cow pen right here. Of course, I don't want the cows right next to my house because yeah, then I constantly have to hear them moo and do whatever. And I really don't want that. Um, so yeah, let's see. I will just make myself... Oh, I got actually I got a crafting bench right here. There we go. And let's see. Can we make... Um, quite a bit of um, fence, okay, fence, fences, fences, or just fence, I don't know, I don't know, I'd say, uh, oh, wait, is this not the recipe, let's see, is it like this, that's a fence gate, um, so then how do we make fences, oh no, I got this problem again. <laughs> okay, I do not know how to make fences in this version, I guess. Um, and yeah, as you know, there's no guide on the side as well. So I'm really in a lot of trouble here. Um, let's think, is it just like this or something like this? Uh, no, no. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I have no idea how we make fences in this version, I guess. Um, maybe something like this. Nope. Okay. Um, okay, well, I guess once again we will have to wait um, to in between episodes uh, and the next episode for to make actual fences. Because, I, yeah, I absolutely have no idea how we make it in this version, which is quite unfortunate. Um, but I definitely want to get a cow pen going now. So what we will do um, to compensate, I need to get myself a shuffle. It will just make a nice little hole for the cows. And for now that will be enough. We will just drop them in a hole. And then next episode um, we will make a big offense around the hole. And then we will um, yeah, let the cows out of the hole into the fence. And that will look a lot better of course than just... Some cows in a hole, I guess. Um, so let's see. Let's make ourselves a shuffle. Um, but yeah, for now we will just have to deal with it, I guess. Um, which is quite unfortunate. I don't actually remember the old uh, recipe from fences, I guess. Um, it's just a shame. Um, but I didn't expect it to have a different uh, recipe. So yeah, that's just kind of unfortunate, I guess. Right. Let's see, let's make them a nice little hole. We make it a 5x5 five five hole so that we have more than enough uh, place for them. Let's see, this is 5, right? Yeah, perfect. there we go. Uh, of course, I do need a little way in and out of the hole. Um, but I think the best way to do that is just to keep one block in the middle like this. And then we, okay, we need to. Double tap W and then we jump. Okay, this this is kind of hard because I cannot sprint with control. Let's see. 
there we go okay i will have to you know get used to that jump but i think that will uh, work out fine All right let's get these cows over here um and let's actually get oh okay there's a lot of them over there as well but right now i will have to sleep in a couple of seconds so we will just take these two breed them up in the hole and then um leave them be and get the next ones after i sleep let's see i will probably have to jump in like this there we go yep there we are and let's breed them there oh okay um Wow, they jump. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Okay, this is gonna be a real challenge. I think I'm just gonna um, put a ladder in there actually, because yeah, once there are a lot of cows in there, that jump will probably just be impossible, impossible because of the hitboxes. So yeah, good thing I find that out right now. <laughs> I think it would be fine if I could use control to sprint. Uh, but yeah, I have to uh, tap the W button twice in order to start sprinting. Which means I'm already um, moving before I'm actually in sprint. So the momentum is really quite low um, at the moment I jump. Um, so yeah, let's see. The ladder should be the same recipe, right? Yeah, there we go. That's nice. Then we can just place in some ladders in there. Uh, and that will be our way out and I'm pretty sure the cows will not be able to get out They are a bit jumpy in there, which is um, interesting, but yeah, it's not a problem I think because they really shouldn't be able to uh, jump out. Here we go I can jump out and I'm pretty sure let's see if I use wheat. They are interested, right? But it will only follow Okay Oh, I don't know what's going on there, but I, I'm pretty sure le cows can't use ladders, um, so we'll probably be fine. Okay, let's um, get these boys over here with us as well. Wow, there's a lot of cows in this area, actually. Look at this. That's really quite nice. We can take all of these boys with us. Right. Hello? Are they... They did follow me a second ago, so I'm kind of confused why they are not following all following me right now but okay i'm getting enough i guess let's see if more cows in that direction okay i think i'm gonna gather these cows with me and then i'm gonna just kill the rest of them that are in this area um because yeah I'm, i might as well i guess i don't need that many cows in the world uh, let's see can i get your attention no okay interesting can i get you to come with me uh i feel like they have a really long cooldown on um, being able to follow you uh, with wheat in your hand. So if I were to, you know, switch to a different item in my inventory right now, I feel like it would take like a minute or two before they are interested in the wheat again. Um, which is interesting because yeah, the cows in the hole also were not interested in me anymore, um, even after coming back from sleeping. So. I think that's what's going on here, but yeah, it's fine. Here we go, drop them all into the hole. And as a quick tester, if I were to jump up here, yeah, none of them can follow me. So that's absolutely great. Let's breed them all up. And let's see. Oh, whoa, oh, okay, I can. I guess I can just keep on feeding them. <laughs> I just completely ran out and they are getting out of the hole. Okay, um, this is a good learning moment, I guess. Uh, yeah, the cow mechanics are really weird in this version, I would say. And I can just not get past these guys. Oh my. Get out of my way. There we go. Okay, come on. Wow, okay. We definitely are gonna need some fences around this. Um, the cow did manage to get out, but he jumped in again, I guess. Uh, let's make this a little higher, just in case it happens again. There we go. And uh, yeah, for now this will be our cow pen. Um, just as a note, I guess, cows are really weird in, weird in this version. Um, that's a good thing to note down for the future. Here we go. Um, but yeah, I guess I'm just gonna kill all the other cows in this area, as I said before. Here we go. Um, mainly because I want their XP, so we can get that level 5 or 6, I don't remember, um, enchant on my pickaxe. 
but also yeah just for the future uh, even more food is always good uh, but yeah we don't get um, XP from breeding them that is also something I have found out right now so that's good to note um, that is unfortunately not in this version yet either uh, which I did kind of expect because yeah I mean um, that I feel like that uh, was always something that was a little more recent I guess um, but yeah it's fine as you can see this is fast enough to get some XP in fact it's quite quick um, because there's just so many cows here there we go there we go and we are getting a lot of food as well and a lot of leather actually way more leather than food it looks like or I might have taken the leather from my chest with me I don't remember if I put that back uh, but yeah, unfortunately there's not really any use for leather yet, except for leather armor of course. Um, since we don't need it for books, so yeah, I'm not too certain what we will do with this leather. Maybe we will make some leather armor just because, you know, why not, I guess. Um, we, we have to find out if there are, I don't think there are armor stands in this version yet, I'm pretty certain there are not. But if there are, then yeah, we can definitely... Maybe like a little armor room with some extra sets of armor and uh, some leather armor as well. Um, but yeah, I will have to find out in between episodes once again um, to see if that's actually in this version yet. Okay, yeah, I definitely did take the leather from uh, my chest before and then put it back. Okay, let's see. Put you in here and put you in here. There we go. And let's see if we can now enchant it. Oh, it actually changed right it changed oh wow okay so it changes changes every time you put it back in there i did not know that um so let's get ourselves a five just because i feel like that would be the best enchant right um and yeah let's see okay we got, <laughs> we got a breaking one so it's worse than the iron x um that's interesting enough um but sure enough it's good enough it's ex uh, at least something um, added on which is always better than nothing and um, you know what what we will do is now go down into the mines and get ourselves some um, goodies let's actually start making some more chests um, yeah, we'll make two more double chests so four in each slot there we go it's kind of a painful process of, as of right now but yeah we cannot put them next to each other yet in this version so let's put them on top of each other like this and then we will make this one our wood chest and i will keep one stack with me um there we go and let's see yeah that's all the wood and then we get all the wood from this one as well there doesn't seem to be anything else no. there we go this one as well and then we will make the other one um the one with just a lot of dirt and stone and all the stuff we get from earth i guess there we go uh, let's put the dirt in first there we go then we'll put in the, no actually let's put in the cobblestone next there we go some sandstone there we go and then the bricks there we go some seats as well i guess um and yeah that already makes everything a little more organized of course we will eventually make an actual sorting system of some sorts or storage area but for now this will do just fine and there we go we got our valuables in this chest i will actually take quite a bit of iron with me if we go mining just in case um you never know what you need let's put this in here as well and i think we are sorted now um to go mining so yeah let's just do that okay let's go down the mines of course the nice little music starts playing as well absolutely lovely and what we will do is we will mine for uh, maybe 15 minutes uh, just in one line and then we will uh, see what we get in that time so yeah here we go of course this is also quite nice to gather ourselves some uh, more cobblestone oh <laughs> oh my god and look at that we found diamonds within the first 10 blocks this is absolutely lovely let's of course mine it all out um, as you should before mining it there we go oh wow okay <laughs> That is crazy lucky, and that just means it's a good idea to start mining right now. Um, yeah, absolutely insane. Here we go. 
Oh, and it looks like we got ourselves six, no, five diamonds. Nice, okay. Let's mine it. Oh, I would like some fortune with this, but yeah, I'm, I'm not certain if that's easy to get. And there we go, look at that, five diamonds. Absolutely lovely. Let's actually get a shuffle right here. Um, and let's mine the coal as well. Just got a notification on my uh, phone, sorry for that. I got a little distracted, but it's all right. Um, and here we go, oh yeah, that's nice amount of coal. Uh, this is actually quite slow to mine this coal, which is um, unexpected, I would say. I thought with the diamond pickaxe it would be a little faster, but yeah, maybe that's just me thinking about the good old days where I had efficiency 5 on my diamond pickaxes. Uh, but yeah, there we go. We are gonna need a lot more coal um, if we are gonna smelt stuff. So. We will mine that stuff as well on this little mining ship. But yeah, there we go. Five diamonds just to start it off. I would say that is quite lucky. Lucky. We are absolutely going to take every single ore we find on this mining session. Um, so even redstone, um, gold, iron, coal. Uh, maybe not coal the whole time. Uh, after a while, it does get a little boring mining all the coal. Um, but yeah, we will take as much of it as we uh, can. Just because um, those items are quite valuable uh, in this stage of the game, I would say. There we go, we got some iron. That's quite nice as well. Uh, let's place a torch here. And yeah, maybe we'll find some cave or, uh, or lava pool and stuff. And we will do a little bit of exploring in that as well. Um, but I don't want to go full on caving, I would say. I feel like we want to just mine um, straight lines like this mainly. Uh, because we also will need a lot of cobblestone and stone bricks and stuff in the future. So, you know, um, just mining for the valuables is not actually um, my plan as of right now yet, you know. Um, so, yeah. Now, I'm not certain what my plan is in terms of the diamonds department. Of course, getting diamond armor would absolutely be amazing, but that is quite expensive. We would need 24 diamonds for that in total. Um, and yeah, there's also a lot of other stuff that we might want to get um, instead, uh, such as the tools, you know. We will um, actually kind of need a diamond axe and a diamond sword, all of that stuff would be quite nice um, as well. I'm not certain about uh, diamond shuffles or anything like that. That's maybe a little overkill for right now, but yeah, it's, it's still something that will be interesting as well as the diamond armor. And um, I feel like if I get diamond armor right now, that is more to just look good than to actually, you know, protect myself. Uh, because as of right now, I haven't actually run into that much danger in this world yet. Um, in fact, I haven't really <laughs> come close to death at all yet. Um, because, you know, the mobs are not that dangerous, especially if you just sleep through the night every single time. And we haven't gone to the nether or the end or anything like that just yet. So, yeah, the crazy strong mobs um, are not really uh, something we come across yet. Um, but maybe we should um, actually go for diamond armor. That way we can assure we are safe if we do go to the nether and all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking about right now. Um, but yeah, I do believe we only have two diamonds in my chest up top right now as uh, in, in there. Um, so in total we have seven diamonds right now. Um, which is definitely not enough to, you know, get ourselves full diamond armor. Um, so, yeah. I had to take a sip of water. Um, oh, nice some iron as well. Um, but yeah, I, I do feel like if we were to find get really lucky in this episode and find all the diamonds we need for full diamond armor, I would probably just go for it. Um, Maybe if we get exactly enough not, because I will need a diamond pickaxe again in the future. And I don't want to um, have to go back to iron um, in order to gather enough diamonds again to get a diamond pickaxe. Just because I wanted to look cool in diamond armor, you know. That would be um, kind of stupid, I would say. Um, so yeah, probably gonna have to get at least 27 uh, diamonds before we make ourselves diamond armor. Um, which is quite a lot, you know, as you can see, this process is not super fast, we just got super lucky with those five uh, diamonds in the beginning. Um, and it is gonna take probably quite a while in order to get the full um, 
uh, 27 diamonds or even more than that. Now we do have a little lava pool over here, which is quite interesting. I do already see some nice little valuable ores here. Um, let's see, doesn't look like there's any mobs as of right now here. Let's gather all of this good stuff. There we go. Now maybe it would be smart to just go caving um, in like the next episode instead of strip mining like we are doing right now. Um, because that way we would probably get a little more diamonds than we get with the strip mining technique. Um, and as you can see, yeah, the, 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 the cobblestone is going quite fast. Um, so it's not like it's a problem to do some caving as well. Right, this place is quite scary. It's really dark and big. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, th this guy doesn't do any damage. Uh, so that's fine. But yeah, oh, we actually got ourselves a ravine, it looks like. Um, so that's interesting. Let's see. Let's block off all of this water. Uh, there we go. That way we can actually light it up and see what we are doing. There are a lot of valuables in this area, it looks like. But not any diamonds I've seen just yet. But there's probably some somewhere around the corner here, right? Oh, okay, we just broke our, our little sword. But luckily, I did bring more iron with me. So let's make ourselves a crafting table. There we go. And need some sticks. And we make some... Another sword, there we go. Could have made a diamond sword, but for now I'm not too interested in that. Let's actually throw out this stuff, um, because my inventory is starting to fill up already. Um, we need the uh, X, there we go. And let's explore this area a little bit. Uh, I feel like it would be smart to just explore this area first, and then um, go and grab all the valuable items. Um, that way we uh, make sure we are safe whilst mining all this good stuff because yeah we don't want to be shot um, whilst mining um, iron and stuff because we didn't light up this place good enough i guess oh <laughs> look at that these diamonds were trying to hide in the shadows but it was not good enough because we will instantly mine these i won't mine them out this time there we go uh, looks like we got only three, but that's still a nice three extra diamonds, uh, which brings our total up to ten. It's pretty decent, I would say. All right, and then bring, brought some iron and coal with it as well, so it was a good old surprise there. Here we go. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, but yeah, we will have to see um, what we do with all of this stuff. Um, as I yeah just said, I guess. Um, let's see. We have been mining um, probably around 8 minutes now. So we got some time left um, to explore this cave some more. And um, maybe we even go back to the strip mine. But this cave did look big enough to actually spend the rest of the like 8 or 10 minutes in this area, I would say. Just exploring it, so we'll probably just do that. Let's see, we got some gold over here, which is also quite nice. I'm not too certain if there's any use for gold in this version, except for, you know, just making cool stuff, I guess. Uh, being able to flex a little, uh, but yeah, don't know if it's used in any like meaningful um, recipes. But we'll still mine it, right? There we go. Go. Oh, actually, now that I think about it, um, this version does have craftable um, god apples or notch apples, whatever you would call it. Um, with, I believe, eight gold blocks and an apple in the middle, you can then make um, a notch apple, um, which is, of course, extremely uh, overpowered and was actually removed later on in the game uh, from being able to craft. And it was just um, findable in uh, rare chests. Um, so we might want to stockpile uh, on a lot of them in the future. Before that recipe gets removed. So that we yeah, forever have um, more than enough god apples. Um, which is just uh, one, a good old flex I would say. But also, you know, quite nice. That way probably we can get almost invincible I would say. Especially with armor that uh, will come in the next updates. Um, so yeah, we probably want to invest in that as well. So 
Gold is definitely valuable enough. Okay, we got almost two stacks of coal. Let's actually mine this part as well. I did spend, I think it was in the last episode, a lot of coal on torches. Uh, made like four stacks of them. Maybe even more. Whoa, okay. Whew. <laughs> that gave me a heart attack. <laughs> oh my goodness. That guy was just <laughs> standing exactly on the block I was mining. Wow. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> um, what I was saying, I was saying, um, let's see, wait. Actually, make sure this area doesn't drop another creeper on my head like that. There's just some zombies here. Whoa, okay, never mind, there was another side creeper. Whew. Oh my goodness, this area is lethal. Wow. Okay. Whew. This is starting to become an, uh, an, a horror game here. My goodness. There we go. Oh wow, there's even more. Even more bad guys. Let's kill this guy first before it blows me up from behind. There we go. And there we go. Alright. Wow, that was uh, that was something. <laughs> actually, actually um, managed to give me a, a little bit of a shook right there. I haven't had that in Minecraft for a long, long time. Yeah, just the creeper <laughs> starting to hiss right as I break the block. <laughs> Scared me. Right, these guys are everywhere. My goodness. Wait, can we actually maybe get a little disc going on here? They're fighting each other. But I would love to get them to get a kill the creeper because this creeper is stupid enough to not be able to jump over the, this block. So let's see. Oh, he's just blowing them up. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. I would love to get a music disc um, because yeah, then we can play some music. You know, it's always fun. Uh, oh, oh, oh my! They are coming from everywhere. This is insane, dude. Wow. I must say, I'm also getting kind of lost um, in this area from like yeah where I came from. Let's see if we can get one to kill each other. Okay, this one is actually smart enough to jump over blocks, I guess. Okay, and he just blew up. Okay, uh, that's unfortunate. We might have to make a little area to actually efficiently um, get music disc, I guess. Uh, but yeah, that's whatever. It's whatever. Whew, okay, yeah, this stuff. <laughs> There are so many mobs down here. I'm not too certain if there's actually like a mob cap in this version. So maybe they just infinitely uh, spawn here. And that's why there's so many mobs here. Because yeah, it definitely feels like there's just yeah, a crazy amount here. Let's see if I'm actually on diamond level anymore. I don't think so. No, I'm way over it. So this area is just not even worth it for me to explore, I would say. Um, so I'm just gonna go back down. Let's see if there's anything over here because I did not come from this area. Uh, doesn't look like it. There's a skeleton here, but don't really care about that guy. Let's see. Always double check, and there's nothing. Okay. Unfortunate, unfortunate. But you never know. You never know. There might have been some diamonds over here or some gold, uh, and that would have definitely been interesting enough to get. Let's see. There's nothing over there as well. No. Okay, let's head back to the place we just came from and actually try and find um, diamonds again, I guess. So, I think I came from down there or somewhere around here. Kill this guy real quick, there we go. Um, I think I mined a block in the ground here. But I'm getting generally lost now. I think it was here, yeah, there we go. We were mining this. The, Paul and then the creeper gave us the biggest heart attack I've ever had in this game. Um, so we are finally back now. There we go. Let's see. I don't think I've been here yet. Maybe I have. But we'll see. Okay, no. This is the area I found that diamonds have to leave. Whew. Wow. That was, <laughs> that was quite an adventure we got there. <laughs> uh, definitely something different than just normal strip mining, I guess. Um, let's see. Yeah, this is definitely the area we came from. There we go. Let's get some lapis. We're now back in the ravine. Oh, we actually don't have a spot for it. There we go. Back in the ravine that we found was strip mining. And let's see. We haven't actually explored all of it yet. Look at this. There's even more mobs over here. Uh, whoa. Okay. Oh my. This is so dangerous. <laughs> Creepers are just dropping from the sky whilst the beautiful music is playing. Oh, 
Okay, let's kill this guy first. And then I wanna try and kill this enderman. Uh, just to get an enderbow, hopefully. Let's see, we will absolutely cheese this a little bit. There we go. Now we can easily kill him. Wait until he comes back. There we go. And there we go. And we got an enderbow. Nice. Okay, that's really quite nice. Um, eventually we will need more than enough of those in order to get ourselves to the end. Of course one isn't that much, but it's a, a little step towards that big old goal. So yeah, might as well kill the enderman, right? Here we go. Ooh, we got almost a stack of iron. That's quite sweet. I think I will stop a little bit with going for the iron now. Because yeah, I don't want to waste all my time just gathering iron coal there we go I do want some extra redstone let's make it a full two stacks there we go and now it doesn't fit anymore so might as well leave it there i guess um let's see i do want to see if there's anything interesting in this area got some more lapis let's catch that i'm not certain if there's actually any use for this yet but you know in the future it will be useful so might as well get it the creeper really doesn't do that much damage um, maybe because of my iron armor or maybe i managed to block my sword in time um every time but yeah oh, we actually do have another enemy over here but yeah the creepers are not that scary if they don't really kill you i guess which does make up for the fact that they keep on dropping on my head oh we got another spider in the back okay let's see anything cool around here but yeah, the creepers, um, they're scary in the way that they absolutely jump scare you. But they're not too scary in the way that they actually can kill you, I guess. Which is, um, uh, it's good enough, I guess. It's it's something. I'd rather have it that way around than, you know, not them not being too scary when they drop on you. But absolutely destroy you if they do. Okay, there's nothing over here. So, uh, yeah, I guess it's fine. So far we haven't died, which is quite nice. I'm quite happy about all that. Um, even in this situation with these caves, which are ridiculously uh, filled with monsters, we still manage to stay alive, which is pretty good. Maybe iron armor is just absolutely overpowered in this version. I don't know. Um, that would mean getting diamond armor is even more interesting, just because, you know, we will become um, completely immortal, I guess. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to wait to see. Okay, let's get this enderman as well. And then I think we will... Oh, they do they not get angry at you when you look at them? Oh! Oh, no, they do. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> they definitely do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it just <laughs> wasn't feeling it, I guess. Um, where, now, where did he go? There he is. Is he still angry? I'm so confused. What? Uh, where? You know what? I'm just gonna go here, back home. Uh, the time has passed. Um, these enemies are crazy, crazy weird. Um, as is everything, I guess, down here. Um, so we'll just go back. The the 50 minutes have just about passed now. Um, so it's it's time to go home, I guess. Let's see. I feel like I haven't been in this spot um, yet, so maybe there are some diamonds hiding. Okay, there's literally a torch right there, so maybe I'm just uh, a little bit stupid. But whatever. We got some gold, so it's fine. Here we go. And, and yeah, after this I will try and find my way back to... Oh, <laughs> would you look at that? Oh, I haven't been here, I guess, all along. Now, is this just one singular diamond? Oh, oh, no, you're not gonna take it from me. There we go. I feel like it's just one. Um, yeah, but you know what? That's still one more diamond than if he wouldn't have been in this area. So it's still better than nothing. There we go. There's the Enderman. I'm not gonna bother killing him because he just absolutely... Well, actually, let's see. There we go. I feel like I can just one to one him like this. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I absolutely destroyed him. Um, I actually... Oh! There's a slime ball here. Ooh. Let's throw that out. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Um, 
not gonna do anything with it for now, but at least I have that. Uh, but yeah, I feel like my arms are just longer than, than the Enderman's arms are in this version. So killing them is actually quite easy, as you just saw. You didn't even get a single hit in. Um, so yeah, it's whatever, I guess. Right, now we are gonna head back to our little humble abode. Um, I would say this um, mining session has been quite successful. If we were to look, we got nine diamonds, which is a crazy, I would say. We got a little bit of lapis, um, almost two stacks of coal, almost a stack of iron, almost a half stack of gold ore, uh, two stacks of redstone, and a whole lot of cobblestone. Um, which in my eyes, 15 minutes, that's an absolute success. So, um, yeah, that's quite nice. Now let's head back up the stairs. Okay, I cannot sprint up these stairs. <laughs> As you can see, <laughs> if I sprint, I instantly get cancelled. So, yeah, I guess that's whatever. Uh, we'll just slowly walk up the stairs. It's still better than having to jump the whole time. There we go. But yeah, I would say this was, this was an absolute success in terms of a mining session. Let's see. Put Oh, no, this is the wrong chest. Uh, um... Let's see, let's put, actually make it like this, there we go, make two rows for the cobblestone, get it all out, there we go, and boom, nice, there we go, and then we'll mm, not put any of the rest of it in here, let's see, put the diamonds in there, there we go, I'm actually gonna make another diamond pickaxe, just because I want to, put iron here, um, redstone, got some redstone, there we go. Let's start smelting all of these ores. Here we go. Um, now this one, yeah, one was over. Here we go, let's put you in first. Um, put you in there, you in there. Iron in this one. And, um, well, now I'm gonna waste that. Uh, let's see. Put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven in there, there we go. Probably not gonna work, so we'll put six in there. There we go, and the rest will go in this one. Absolutely fine. Let's take a little nap while I'll sip on some water. There we go. And let's make, um, let's see. What I wanna do right now is get us some more sugar cane. Um, hopefully it should have grown since we planted it all. Right, yeah, that's going a little bit. Um, we will get some sugar cane and make ourselves a singular, or maybe even more bookshelves, because we have seven levels right now. And we will um, see if we can get a little bit of a higher enchant on a new diamond pickaxe. So here we go, get us some sugar cane. Already got enough, but I mean, might as well get the rest as well, right? We go it's an easy and there we go it hasn't grown that much which is kind of weird i feel like we should have still been you know in the render distance of these guys but maybe not maybe it does work a little bit different in this version i guess also uh, as you can see um i have options here i can go in there but i cannot click on this video settings button because as soon as i do um yeah the game crashes so um, I cannot change how anything here looks and I cannot change um, you know my render distance or anything like that um, which is kind of fine I don't really mind it anyway the way it looks right now or any of that stuff but you know um, it is interesting I guess uh, but yeah let's make ourselves all the sugar cane there we go and there we go into paper and then we will make some books there we go and then up 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 and that's all of it nice and let's make ourselves some bookshelves um i will start off by placing only one of them down uh i don't think i actually have enough wood for this maybe i do yeah i do okay i, I will start with only placing one of them down and seeing how um oh i actually got an achievement for that that's quite nice see if i um see what the max level enchantment then is because you know i only have seven levels right now so if it's already higher than seven then there's no use uh, and let's see okay we got one and three okay four four three four uh, at the moment we are not even getting five okay there we go six i feel like six would be the max i feel like every bookshelf we place down uh, will probably increase it by one um 
diamond. So let's see. Let's make ourselves a new diamond pickaxe. Of course, we still have this good old guy. But yeah, we'll, we'll make a new one. And let's actually place them all down, the bookshelves. Because, yeah, there we go. Then we can instantly get level 7. Hmm. Let's see. Can we get up to 8? Or we can even get up to 10. I do have almost level 8. So we might as well get us some more XP. Um, and then go to level 8. Uh, because we should definitely be able to get that. Um, and then we can maybe get a little better enchant than level 7. We never know. So might as well try, right? Alright, here we go. I will first gather all of this wheat. It does seem to have grown quite a bit since we were in the mines. Um, and then I will breed up the cows. Kill a couple of them until I get level 8. We'll probably only take like one or two of them. Um, and then we will try and get a level 8 enchantment. Um, I feel like the enchanting is quite fun actually when it's like this. Um, unfortunately, there, it is still quite hard to get levels as of right now. But maybe if we were to make a mob grinder or something like that, um, it will be a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's more fun now because it's more random and it's more, um, you know, trying it out with different levels and stuff. So yeah, I kind of like this way of enchanting. At least for now, probably it will get a little bit old <laughs> after quite some time. But yeah, for now it's absolutely fine, I feel like. Okay, so we need to... Wow, these guys are loud as I expected. We need to be a little careful with breeding this. Because I feel like, yeah, I can just keep on feeding them. So let's carefully give all of them only one. And they start jumping as soon as they're breeding, it seems like. Okay, I feel like I've had every single one of them. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay, looks like I did. There we go, and now I haven't spent 17 of them on one single cow. Which is quite annoying that that happened the last time. And there we go, we got some more babies. I'm not gonna kill these guys yet, because I feel like that would be um, a little bit too soon. And we might as well actually kill the, the cows that are still in this area. I feel like there's quite a bit of them still in this direction. Yeah, there we go, we got some there. Not kill, gonna kill the uh, pigs because yeah might want to make a little pig pen in the future as well so for now they get to live and there we go we already got level eight um let's you know what we will actually try and get even more levels maybe we can get up to level nine or ten and um yeah just make that enchantment even better you know um it does look like um this episode is already starting to come to an end um, which is um, quite unfortunate because i kind of planned on making some progress on the house as well but yeah i guess um i kind of overestimated how much we can do in this episode which is fine you know uh, as long as we play for an hour and make a nice amount of progress that's you know that's the goal of the episodes right um and yeah we got an enchantment table and stuff like that which is absolutely amazing and we did some good old mining um and yeah get yeah, quite a bit of resources i would say so yeah it's absolutely fine um, we will probably um, have to spend the next episode, which I'm going to record tomorrow, actually. For you, it will be um, like three or four days apart. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to record it tomorrow. And then um, we will try and make some progress in the house uh, tomorrow, in the next episode. Okay, I overestimated how much XP I would get from these guys. I didn't even go to level 9. Uh, but it's whatever. I will enchant with level, uh, with level 8, I guess. Uh, let's see if we can get some goodies. Um, but yeah. Uh, I kind of forgot what I was talking about. Uh, before I set off that. But it's, it's whatever I guess. If I forgot it, it's probably not that important. I do need to eat. Right now. And there we go. But yeah. Um, in between episodes I once again will have to do some research. This time on how we make fence gates. Or just fences. Uh, I mean, and then next episode we will try and make some progress on the house. Right, for now, let's see if we can get a level 8. Oh, it was there, okay. Uh, there we go. Level 8 enchantment. And what are we gonna get? Uh, I'm really hoping for some fortune. Uh, that would be absolutely amazing. Or some efficiency. Um, but maybe I'm overestimating what I can get from level 8. Right, 3, 2, 1, there we go. And I'm breaking two. Not too bad. Not too bad. It's a little bit better than I'm breaking one. Um, but yeah, not that much better. 
Um, so I guess we got enough diamond pickaxes for a long time right now because these guys will last forever. Um, let's see, we got some gold. Um, so yeah, kind of disappointed in that enchantment, but it's fine. I mean, it is level. Uh, it was a level eight enchant, so it, yeah, probably my um, expectations were too high to begin with. Anyway, so yeah, it's it's fine. It's fine. We are all good here, and now we have some. Uh, yeah, for everlasting pickaxes because it, it will take a while to get to through unbreak two of the unbreaking uh, pickaxes. Um, so yeah, I guess it's fine. Uh, let's actually put this one over here and this one over here as well. A little more with the valuables because you know they're a little more rare. Actually, the lapis is as well. Um, and let's see. Yeah. Okay. We are good, I guess, for this episode. Um, yeah, the, the the time is just about out right now um so i guess this is a good time to end the episode now of course we are gonna need a nice little screenshot for the thumbnail um and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hold these diamonds or maybe i should mm, i should hold the di enchanted diamond pickaxe right and we're gonna go into f5 next to enchanting table let's see let's go here and one two three there we go that's a nice little screenshot of what we did today of course you've already seen this um in the thumbnail uh, but yeah there we go get the diamonds back in and let's see either i'm gonna go for full diamond armor next episode or a um yeah upgrading the house to uh, a better state than it is in right now i'm not too certain yet uh, i will have to see how i feel tomorrow maybe i feel like mining maybe i feel like building a bit um but yeah um of course once again uh, thank you pixel reset for the name suggestion bunk uh, as you can see i named it uh, named the dark bunk uh, after that and yeah if you want to name this dark definitely let me know uh, know down below in the comment section leave a suggestion i will give you a shout out um, for doing so um, if i pick you of course um, and yeah that was it for this episode i would say so yeah i hope you enjoyed it guys um, and i will see you tomorrow for me and sunday for you so yeah goodbye